<laughs> do that hello there but it's another of my little girls one of my little babies this one is uh one of my favorites of all things uh 3.8 checker pretty much sort of like original i would say unrestored but it's probably not I mean, it's had lots of work new screen rivers new i put a new headline in it but i actually did a headline in it which was I don't know if we actually saw it, but had you had it, just put the lights in it. This one for years ago to a different interior. We've got, uh, what have we got here? You know, carpets obviously did, but that's not the other one. So, headline, woods or flaking, north of flaking. But not a bad thing, bottoms of the doors are uh, starting to go again. Uh, probably are okay. Engine, beautiful. Oops, sorry, lost the camera. My engine, lovely. Uh, oh, sorry, lovely old girl here. Commentary rushes for the people with the eagle eyes. Uh, yeah, there she is. There she is. An old turd of gargantuan horses. When I'm driving, she came in today. I wanted to get the interior lights working, and uh, so far. I succeeded. Can't find a cover for the one over there, but I oh, will. I've got a few other little things to sort out, but other than that, it should be fucking great. I'm sorry, it's walking all right as well. But anyway, so there you go. Check out Mark 2 in the edge shed. Took a bit of welding under the back of there one time, but uh, <coughs> you know, hey. Needs a bit of a clean. It was, yeah, when you wash them, yeah. Yeah, when you wash them, then they get condensation and go rusty. So, pretty much standard engine, 3.8, 2.4, twin carbs. Uh, nothing particularly special under there. Servo useless. I think no modification at all, I think. Lovely car. So, all I can say is that 2 minutes and 15 for seconds. Yeah, there you go. That's what you can find in a fucking shed if you look on that. And uh, to be honest, these are actually a nice car. They rust very badly, so. But yeah, so she's come in for a little titivation. What I try to do, having a few cars, is try and do something every day to something. And gradually they will start coming together. But uh, obviously, they will take. Massive amount of time. It's not really to save money, but it's time. So, uh, in this particular case, as you can see, she wanted a bad old car to start with, but uh, I've done welding down there. See, a different colour. I've done uh, some welding on the back, spring air boxes. I put the uh, front chassis leg in it, which you can see under there somewhere. Well, yeah, because one day I was actually driving and it collapsed. I thought, it's, what's wrong with it? It's broken spring. If it hadn't broken the spring, it's the whole chest like it collapsed. So it was quite amazing that one because you think, you know, the thing was, but it's still driving because it was still attached. But it took a bit of welding down here, as you can see. We had to, I had to replace from the fucking bit you can't see over there, right to the front end, the bottom of that chassis leg. So uh, a bit of a fight, but yeah. Her steering, you should see her steering, but uh, not necessarily the uh, best power steering setup. I'd like to go back to try to take it off, maybe. Didn't have power steering, it's a bit wandery, but the next jobs on this are well, not really, actually, no, the interiors don't get all the crap out of it. And, uh, but oh, two bits of chrome missing from here. Got that good box, keep pinging off. So. Give it a good clean, and uh, she's on the road. She is actually on the road anyway, so it's not like a. Uh, I've got to say, I've got no motivation to stand up. James. But yeah, so there you go. Another one of the Ed Shed's cars. <laughs> so I suppose, uh, I don't know, for all you Mark II lovers, there's the car you've seen dreams. And for all you people who don't want one, you won't have to worry about how rusty they get and how they fall apart and how they leak like a sieve and uh, all the other side dramas that go with them. 
But it's been pretty, it's, this one's been a pretty good car. So uh, apart from the chassis leg, spray air boxes, sills, bottoms of the doors. But, oh, the overdrive doesn't work, which is the other favourite. I think it's right on the edge of the power, rebuilt, packed up, packed up straight away. So I'm going to have a look at that one day, but uh, not, not tonight. So anyway, it's a uh, very stupid across the gun. And uh, I think I'm going to just pack it in. So for the benefit of the old... Uh, it's you, Jess. There she is. But if you don't, uh, well, if you don't like them, you don't like them. If you like them, well, there you go. There is one. There's an original old turd, which is another one of my collection of unrestored old Jaguars. So, so see you later. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.